yeah this is Sunday and I had to move the truck so yesterday I did a lot of stuff I was busy all day so I, I did a bunch of those videos that took a while and then I took the truck to the shop I had it greased and I gave him my uh, primary fuel filter was a separate ask him to change it because I saw a lot of restriction already um, and I'm using a 25 micron filter so I'm thinking which works great in 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 winter but I think for the summer I'm gonna switch back to uh, the other one 25 is still recommended by Cummins it's on the, I found it both 10 microns and 25 but for the summer I think I'll switch to 10 micron might cause the the other filter to plug in faster because this the second filter fuel filter has less tolerance you know but if I, I tried using 10 micron filter in winter it was getting plugged plugged up very fast because you know fuel in, in winter is is dirtier let's put it that way there's more uh, additives and stuff like that and so so yeah, I think when I'm back home, I'm gonna get a 10 micron filter. And when this one uh, gets plugged up, I'm gonna switch to 10 micron. And also yesterday the guy was checking, even though I never asked him to, he was checking for, uh, he was checking oil in my differentials and he says, your first, uh, your front diff uh, has a leak and oil level is a bit low and i said can you fix the leak he says uh no they don't allow us to touch differentials uh what i can do is i can fill up the diff i'm like wait a second so i have a leak and you want to charge me money to add the super expensive oil which you know had all oil, oil in the differentials and transmission is pretty expensive uh, but you don't want to fix the problem so you can open the bolt to put in the oil but they don't allow you to change the seal a five dollar part the guy says uh, no sir so usually i'm pretty happy with the shop and but it's yeah it's not this is the problem with all truck stop shops not not this particular one so i don't i don't bear any grudges to the ta in danceville these are great guys i just wish that uh, truck stop shop shops would be allowed to do more than just put in oil because for me it's just a waste of money right so uh, because he had to add he said he had to add the uh, three quarters three quarters whatever that means I don't know a pint of a gallon so it was low and so now when I get back home I have to take my truck to either to the to Guelph to those guys and just change the seal or go to Kenworth but Kenworth is what like $600 an hour now so I'd rather use Guelph where it last time I checked it was 90 or 95 bucks an hour Canadian and so what else did I do okay I created my bill of lading because a broker sent me their own bill of lading that I had signed at the shipper but I always try to get my own because it clearly shows who the carrier was you know in case there's some uh, argument Oh, you did move this load well yes I did because now I have I have your bill of lading from the broker and I have my bill of lading as a carrier so I always try to sign you know both and I did I created my invoice because as soon as I deliver Monday I'm gonna send the invoice to the factoring company and also I went to um, I went to the grocery store in my truck I dropped the trailer went to the grocery store and then on the way back I, I had I bought some fuel price here is pretty you know I used to go across the street because the discrepancy was like 50 70 cents now it's 332.9 per gallon here cash and 332.9 credit so same price across the street 
you may be saving I think it's like over there is like three 325 or 329 something crazy like that but I do have a, a quick fill card and that gives you another five cents so but anyway I only got like 90 gallons and so if I went across the street I could have saved 10 bucks but over there the hose is like one quarter of an inch thick so it takes an hour to fill up one side so screw that so I now when the price difference is so small I don't want to go in there and I was parked in there right and and then right by the way where's my key and at night that guy showed up that guy showed up and he parked now he's parked in the one two three one now he's parked in the fourth spot from the corner he showed up at night he parked at the second spot you know where the so i was in that the last one like that and he parked over here so he was blocking my trailer oh that's my key Semyon Semyonovich so he was blocking my trailer and then at night he starts doing something crazy I'm gonna show you like I was afraid he was gonna hit me right so so I was parked over there right this guy parked in the second spot and then for some reason at 11 o'clock at night he realized that I wouldn't be able to hook up to the trailer so the trailer was over there my truck was over there and this guy was like too close right so at night he starts going this way and then for some reason he 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 goes forward right into the spot next to my truck then he changes his mind he's going backwards and i'm like what the heck is he doing he's going backwards on the same turn you know if if somebody goes in and comes out and he, and their wheels are in the same position something is wrong you know you never do that drive and then back when your wheels are in the same position that means that you don't know what you're doing you have to turn the wheels opposite right otherwise there's no point and so the guy backed out end up in the same position where he was before and then he shifted slightly here one two three four and now he's in the fourth spot and i had some difficulty backing to the trailer but i said i'd rather do it now and so i hooked up to the trailer and i backed like this because uh, sunday is usually getting busy here saturday is okay it's half empty but sunday it's getting busy so i was afraid that if i stay like that somebody will block me you know people will take that spot and so i said screw this i'm gonna block these spots but i don't have a choice so i just park like this and i was stopping and checking my distance 20 times to make sure i don't hit a, a stone in there um, and so the other thing i did i ran out of uh i ran out of the black paint and so yesterday i went to uh tractor shop over there across the street from uh, from uh, grocery store and first I was uh, yeah I got the paint so now we're gonna do some painting that's gonna be the final part of this video I know you guys love when I paint I know I'm a very skilled painter so this is flat no gloss protective enamel and it stops rust and also I was thinking about this I really don't like this screwed up homemade bolts right where they just took this and they added a nut in here so I was trying to see if I can find something that can replace that and turns out it's half an inch bolt the thread is half an inch see and i didn't find them long like that but i found this of course it has this part but it's not going to work for the when i only am using two shims like that but if i'm using a big shim like over there double is going to work fine and i just bought bolts because i have i have the washers here and i have the locking uh, you know nylon nut but i'm gonna try this i'm gonna try this so i got four bolts this was like 99 cents because they sell them by by weight turns out oh i might use these 
these gloves and so now yeah i was getting i was looking at this uh neck and i was getting a bit frustrated like like the tr the trailer is not even yet three years old well from the time i bought it right so i bought it in in um november 18 right but the trailer is actually 2016 but i don't count that because it was not actually working right it was just sitting oh, you see i got it now i got a bunch of these uh, spare connectors so i'm all set i uh, like uh, th this is my favorite tool you know for son of a check this out this stuff look at this man oh, that's gonna be a mess I knew it this thing so now and that's good grease <laughs> but where's the yeah I gotta throw it out because it's gonna make a mess and I just bought two of these actually for the grease gun yeah good thing I checked otherwise my my whole compartment would be covered with this stuff it's already covered and that's not good like I said this is my favorite tool <laughs> oh boy see those pins those pins you know they're really massive and so one of them just fell down and it crushed that tube I think we're good back to the almost back to the status quo all right yeah what I was referring to is is um, is this you see like especially here just started resting just makes the trailer look very old and like I said so I only got it in in November 18 I don't know I don't want to do everything I'll just clean up the neck a little bit. 
and you see there's already rust under the paint spot in the back 
I think I'm not gonna deal with the entire trail it's just too exhausting but I noticed that in winter in winter the D-rings and outriggers they start looking real nasty for some reason especially when the trailer sits on the ground so last winter i think i even tried to put oh when i had the 55 ton i even put timbers under the front thinking that maybe there's you know some secret electric currents going on that we don't know about um yeah you see this where i had that accident in uh, in uh, new jersey If you can call it paint. Yeah, I think I already cleaned up this one. I wanted to do it a few weeks ago and then I went then I went looking for paint in my compartment I thought I had one and I ran out Nothing is a little bit of black paint to increase the value of a black trailer. Resale value. When it's time to sell this monster, we're gonna hire a couple of school kids. And tell them to clean it up. and paint it. Man, this looks gorgeous. Yeah, I don't have I don't have patience now to clean this. It's too much. I just wanted to do the neck, which I did, so
Yeah, see for some oh because this I was thinking why is this axle so fresh? <laughs> because it's the one I just bought. But is it for some reason this side this side looks better than the other side? Because I guess you know most of the time I'm driving in the curb lane with a heavy load. And so all the dirt in winter flies on that side.
and that's how it's done oh man this one that's what i cleaned up on the on the other side paint it later I don't want to paint over this hose all right maybe the front part and somewhere here That's it. I cannot clean the entire trailer because of course this looks bad. But what do you do? There's only so much I can do before I start getting impatient. And no, I did not forget about the can. I just throw it in I just throw it in the general direction of the garbage can. Now I wonder, if I hit it, will it fly inside? What do you guys think? I saw a rabbit over here yesterday. I wanted to catch him for, for dinner, but he was too fast. That's it. That's the entire video. So I'm all hooked up, all ready to go. Just have to uh, check my... Uh, change in the morning i'm getting up real early because they they're dying for this machine in toronto and like i mentioned before they want they were expecting us to deliver friday <laughs> and i only got my new york permit at nine o'clock on friday i found the pilot as you saw in the previous video for 12 30 friday so there was no way we could have delivered uh, friday so now from here, this is Danzo, right? So from here... So from here, it's two hours to the border that way. That's north, that's uh, 390. It's gonna take me two hours because again, they're sending us on uh, some crazy mountains over there on, on uh, US 20. And then from the border, it's another 20 uh, another two hours or 120 miles to the job site in toronto where this thing is going and they're probably gonna be crazy busy over there so i'll ask them if they can separate the booster and load it on the deck but if not i'll just go like that back to my yard because i have to uh like if i park like this i'm too far right i'm sticking out too much you know causing trouble to other drivers who park there but since i'll be taking the truck to the shop to fix the um, the front diff change the seal so my truck will not be in the yard and hopefully by the time the truck is done i'll find another load because uh i only this is only my second load in june so i need to do at least another one you know to pay the bills 
thanks for watching happy sunday everybody now i'm going inside the truck stop have some uh, breakfast